Alright, hey man, say man, what's going on man, it's your boy, Wavy Ears, and today I get a chance to sit down, chop it up, with Philly's own Yak Yoda, what's going on bro? Oh man, I can't call it, it's good. Alright, alright, I mean shit, my man's put me on you, you shit, and I usually pride myself on being early, I'm mad I'm late to you, you look yeah. like you, you got a buzz, you going strong, and yeah. I want to get to know more about you, but before we talk about why we here, I want to talk about how we got here, you know what I mean, so like, I, I know you from Philly, uh, what, what part of Philly are you from? I'm from West. West what, Philly. West Philly? All right. So what, what made West Philly a little different than other parts of Philly for, you know, us folks that don't be around here like that? I, I mean, we from West, but we from, like, the bottom of West Philly. We don't even really, like, claim the West for, for it like that. But I don't know, man. We just different. It's different. We yeah. different than West Philly niggas. Okay. We from yeah. West Philly, but we ain't. Like, <laughs> Philly is a whole, it's a whole never. Oh no, we're John with that shit though, but we just different. Right? Different? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Well, well shit. Got the hottest spitters. I, you say out of all of Philly? For sure. Okay, okay. We're we gonna talk about why you why you feel that way in a little bit. But uh, you know, growing up, right? Like before you became Yak Yola, right? Before you started touching that mic, because I heard you touched the mic around like maybe fourth grade or something. Yeah. What were you doing before that? Like who were you growing up as a young boy? Oh man. I wasn't really nobody for real, for real. I ain't, ain't nothing going on. Regular motherfucker. Regular shit, bro. All right. Were you in, so, the, in the sports? You know what I mean? You doing no, sports? I wasn't even in the sports. I was in the fucking hoes and yeah. shit like that. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Uh, but shit, like growing up, no, I wasn't really a sports guy. I was more like a, I was more like on the music side of things. I used to do music classes and shit, like growing up and shit like that. Music classes? Yeah, I don't, like still to this day, I ain't really like a sports motherfucker. I ain't really big on that. Okay, all yeah, right. Yeah, I'm born in that side of thing, in that side of shit. I'm all born right. with that. Man. Nah, man, that ain't boring, that ain't boring. But yeah. it's like, it's crazy because you talk to a lot of people, right? Before, yeah. before they got the music, it was, you know what I mean? Playing sports or shit, they was drawing or something. Shit like that. Yeah. So what attracted you to music at such an early ass age? Shit, probably cause my uncle, my uncle Sparks, my uncle is Emilio Sparks. I don't know if you're familiar with that state property. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's my first uncle. That's my mom's twin brother. Okay, all right. So that's like it always been there with me. You feel me? I always been seeing that forever since I can remember. You feel me? Okay. I've been seeing him with that rap and shit. So now it like, was already there. You feel me? Now, like, when you mean you saw him with the rap and shit, like, to what extent? Like, did you see him recording, putting in work? I know no, back I've never seen him record. No, just like movies. Just like seeing oh, people yeah. in a movie, hearing my mom and everybody playing his music, knowing who yeah. Beanie Siegel is and all that, you feel me? Okay. Being familiar with that. And that was since a young age, probably like nine or seven or something like that, you feel me? All right. Well, I want to go back a little bit because you said you were going, like, kind of in and out of institutions and you weren't able to drop how you were dropping. Yeah. So, in a general sense, you, do you feel like that slowed you down? Like, your life situation slowed you down? Or did it motivate you to maybe move different, go a little harder? There we go. See, it could never slow me down because I came with nothing. I, I, I wasn't I wasn't doing it. It wasn't, I wasn't making music to put out to the public. I was yeah. making music, not even making music. I was writing music and recording videos for the people that was around me. You feel me? Just not too long ago, I was, I start, I start really like, wanting to pump it to the public. First with my man Deep, for real, for real, we had dropped some stuff, but then I got locked up mm -hmm. and I stopped rapping, you feel me? But when I came home this time, we had to drop some shit, Demon Flow and all that shit. That's what made me start wanting to go all the way back hard with it, then I got signed. So so would you say Demon Flow is the reason why you got signed or, or like that team no, in general? No, probably just, no, I don't. I wouldn't say that. I, I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't even tell you. No, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say Demon Flow got me signed. Though I wouldn't say that. Take me to like the story, like leading up to you signing, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, with, was the slide record right with King Von? Because like I want to talk about the Chicago connection. Mm -hmm. You got King Von and G Herbo. Mm -hmm. you, like you just got signed in 2019. Let's just say you've been rapping for three years. A lot of guys rapping for seven years and got a King Von you know, or G Herbo feature. So I just want to know how it come about, and uh, you know, like how do you feel about it? Uh, that shit like regular shit, bro. Regular? Yeah, yeah it's like, oh, no, not 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 in the sense of that. See, I gotta see that'd be crazy. I'd be saying shit like, but it's like I don't really like. Um, that's crazy that I got that going on because I, all I listened to coming up was Chicago niggas. For real, for real, you feel me? 
So when that happened to me, I wasn't really like, when I had got that going on, I wasn't really like so surprised about it because it's something that I foreshadowed like forever. Like what's the word manifest? Yeah, yeah, I be manifesting yeah. that shit forever. Like you, you, like when I turn on a beat or something, I'm going on G Herbo type beat before I got signed and feel me on okay. YouTube and all that shit. So when I did it, I just felt like, damn, like I, I deserve that for real. You feel me? So I, I wasn't really too like, but definitely, yeah, that shit like that shit like trophies. I wish I had, yes. I wish I had a plaque right now for them songs. I'd be wearing that shit around my neck. Right, right. Chain, you feel it's me? A big ass accomplishment, man. That's yeah, something for sure. Shit. I mean, two songs. This should be personally like, which one's a little bit of your favorite? The slider, the the latest one you just dropped for the video. Get back. It's all right. It's all right. You can pick. Yeah, I got to. I got to. <laughs> Both tracks is hard, but which yeah. which one was like, oh yeah, oh, um, I, I, I like the G Herb, I like the shit where it better because Slide for me, I made Slide in the studio with no intentions on this being a song for uh, King Von or none of that. I just was bullshitting in the studio, made that off the top and all that. You feel me? Yeah. But Vine had time to listen to the song and write a crazy verse to it, but really this was just some shit that I didn't even think twice about this song, you feel me? Okay. And he just put his verse on there, you dig me? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this Herb Joan, I had a little more time to, I had time to make sure like this shit how I wanted to be, you feel me? Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, so I like that Herb shit more though, but both of them are insane to me, bro. Fire, All you right. know what I'm saying? Nah, Goals. I like Goals. that answer, I like that answer. See, in general, for me, as like a, a fan, right, if I see an up-and-coming artist with those two features, yeah. I'm starting to think, oh, this guy is separating himself from the pack, right? Yeah. So in general, I would say the Philly scene been bubbling, like bubbling either crazy good or crazy bad, depending on how you look at it, right? Yeah. But the music is getting heard. So how would you say your music is different from everyone else that's kind of either on the scene, bubbling, getting heard, things like that? Cause I, I go out my I go out my way to be different than motherfuckers. I don't care what nobody think either. You can ask me, motherfuckers behind me, bro. Like I ain't I don't care what nobody think, bro. Like you know I'm saying if you ain't if you ain't contributing to the 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 helping me prosper and get somewhere, I don't give I I don't care what you say, you feel me? Like when I first started, like the, the the sound that I got and all that Damon flow and all that shit, nobody ain't agree with that shit. Nobody ain't really care for that shit. Yeah. People was, ain't nobody really care, you feel me? It was just like, no, nah, that's regular shit. But so when I, th this deal shit that happened, that came out of nowhere, you feel me? So that was just my standard from then on. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Like, if I feel like this John Fire, I'm gonna make it that, and then I'm gonna let the world show me what it is. I really don't, you feel me? Okay. Now, yeah. now, would you consider yourself like a drill artist? Because I felt like there were some beats, I felt like he was like rapping on like a Cali beat, like a down south beat. I, yeah. feel, I was like, damn, this, this boy a little versatile. I'm just an artist, so, bro. Right. I'm just an artist, bro. I'm just an artist. I, I, ain't, I wouldn't even say I'm a drill artist because people that be saying that, that's all they know how to do is make drill music, you feel mm -hmm. me? That's not all I know how to do. You know what I'm saying? I make a lot of different type of music. Okay. Put your options on random. You feel me? All right. All right. Okay. All right. I like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me but me personally, I like making the hype music. I like making drill music. All right. I like being on some hype shit. You know what I'm saying? I like being on that. I like that. You feel me? So that's why I make that type of music more, for real. Because that's what I know in my life. You feel me? That's what I experience. Before I became a rapper, that's the type of shit I was getting into. You feel me? That's the type of shit I was on. You feel me? So that's the type of music I like making. That's just all of it. But when I ain't feeling like that and I'm feeling like conscious and or down or something, I'm gonna make the type of music that's like that. You feel? Okay. But right off the rip, like right now, you bring a mic in this moment, I might make some drill shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been falling back lately off of the drill music though, man. Like yeah, like the, the, the New York drill, like that type of sound. I don't know. It's just, I've been doing it for so long. I'm like, right. trying to do something else, bro. Okay, all right. And let me ask you a general question. Do you feel like Philly has a Philly drill sound? Because I've been hearing some people no. say there's Philly drill no. now. I am Philly drill, physically Philly drill. 
Philly ain't got no drill music. Philly okay. drill music for real, for real. It's people that's talking about drill shit, but all them other drill, all the drill music I heard come from, like even with me, it ain't that, I be rapping on New York drill shit sometimes, you feel me? Yeah. But like, it ain't really, we don't got like our own genre drill. You hear like Detroit got they Detroit drill, you hear how all them beats sound the same. You know how New York got they drill, UK yeah. got they, it, all, all the beats sound the same, like, I don't, there's no genre like that from here. I, I don't know, I, I don't know, uh, you feel me? Okay, all right, all right, so, in, all right, so if there's no Philly drill, right, it, why, why do you feel like- It's uh, Philly niggas that, okay, that rap know. drill though. All right, all right. But far as like, the, I might be going farther than what you saying for real, but far as the whole category Philly drill, I never heard it. Okay. You heard it? Y'all, y'all search Philly drill uh, type beat on, on YouTube? No. Nah, uh, it's no Philly drill. Not that I know about. I'm going to take drill. In the city, like, it's a, it's a lot of artists. Like, who, who do you, like, think about linking with other people working with them? Or, like, are you more thinking about a bigger scale? I mean, yeah, we thinking about working with everybody. If it ain't, if it ain't new smoke, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, who, who, bottom line, and I yeah. say that on every, every, every interview, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, me personally, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, I'm down to work with my focus. But, you know, from here, this city that we from right here, this shit different right here. This shit different. This shit ain't like nothing else nobody ever seen. This shit different right here. This shit, the politics here, this shit worse than college for real, for real, bro. Because it ain't no gangs and the same shit going on. You feel me? Right. This shit different right here, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I never waste my time saying, yeah, I don't want to work with him, 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 or him, him, him. No, it's everybody unless you don't want to work with me. You feel me? So what do you think is holding Philly back as like a hip hop community to kind of get like in Atlanta? Like Cause a- everybody trying to go further than the next person and that ain't the goal. That's not the goal. That's not, you trying to go further than your homie. How that's going to work? How would that work? If you like all of us rap together, but yo, I'm trying to be bigger than you the whole time. And you, he like, I'm trying to be bigger than you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's never going, like the competition ain't never good like that when it's with each other. That shit only good when it's with other people, you feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, that's true, that's true. Well, out of the, you know, a lot of Philly rappers up and coming or people that already have a name, who are some of the people that you either listen to or you like? Uh, I, I mean, everybody that's doing anything, bro. I fuck with everybody that's doing anything, man. I be hearing, I be hearing motherfuckers, bro. Uh, my man and them do. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? J5 versus them, uh, Kobe. Uh, who else, man? Like, uh, Leaf War, Leaf War, Fire, Leaf War. Uh, I don't know, bro, everybody. I ain't got no miles or no L in my heart for nobody, bro. So it's like, I couldn't even sit here and keep naming all these names. It'd be too many. Everybody, I fuck with everybody, bro. If you don't pur- if you, me, I voice my opinion about everything. If you don't purpose, if you don't see me saying, I don't fuck with this person right here, then you know what I'm saying nine times out of ten is just I don't know him, so it's like I can't really see too much about you if I don't know you. Okay, All right. yeah. I, I get that. That's good, man. You open to work with people. I told you like man. before the interview, you come off like a humble beast. Like yeah, you give people props, but you pop, you pop your shit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You know your work. You feel me? So I just want to switch gears a little bit, right? I don't want to get too personal, but I'm looking at this, you know, the scar on your face. I just want to know, like, what's the story behind the scar on your face? Well, which one? This joint on my head. Oh, see, I didn't even. That's what you talking about. I got this joint on here. I bumped out. I bumped out on some crazy dummy shit when I got this joint on my head right here. Oh, look. I bumped out on a blaster. I was on a blaster riding through the hood. Look, I'm in the plat. I'm in the plateau, right? I'm in the plateau. This park and shit. With my man, I'm driving the car, right? We pull up in that joint. My man. No, somebody that's in there that's riding forward. Oh, yeah. I'm like, damn, you riding forward. Here I go. I'm thinking I'm ready to step off on this nigga bike, keep his shit. <laughs> I drive down the hood. I get ran right off the jump. Yeah, ran over. I was asleep for seven days, bro. 
somebody ran you off the bike. Yeah, yeah, I ran into like a car, and they had the bike the, the full. They had no bricks or at all, at all on it. Okay. So, yeah, that's what happened with that though. That's all that was. And you said you were, uh, you were in the hospital bed for seven days. Yeah, yeah, I was asleep for seven sleep. days. I was in the hospital for probably like two weeks or some shit like that. Man, now, now what age was this? Was this like while you were kind of still doing your music thing? Like, no, or? this was right before I got booked. I got booked. I was handcuffed to the hospital bed when this shit was going on. Damn. I was on the run the whole time, you feel me? Because I came home from juvenile policeman, right? And went on the run from juvenile probation right off the rip. So once I came home, okay. I just stopped reporting probation, you feel me? So I was on the run for that. So when that accident happened to me, my mom wound up telling the doctor my name and shit. Like, I'm out of it. I can't even, I swear, bro. That's why I know it ain't, it ain't scary to die, for real, for real. But look, check this out. I heard everything that was going on. It was something made me trying to tell myself, like, yo, tell my mom, don't tell these motherfuckers my real name. Give her Shamar, give her my brother name. Yeah, some cool yeah. shit, you feel me? Yeah. But I couldn't say it. I was dead. I was asleep, but I was dead. You know what I'm saying? It, them dead niggas sleep, but they hear what we say. <laughs> <laughs> But for real, because I was standing like, damn, I'm trying to tell my mom, just don't say my name. But anyway, yeah, they had came in there, they had cuffed me to the bed and shit. Whole time I'm like, damn, I'm trying to run out the hospital. I'm trying to run out of the hospital. Not Why that was saying, man, though. Why was cut to the bed? Yeah, because they had let me get up to do these little procedures and shit. I had to do this little walk and shit to yeah. make sure I could walk and all the cool shit. But this was youth study center shit. This not. This wasn't adult case. Adult cases. I was gonna run from juvenile shit. So yeah. they had little, little dumb little guards coming to watch over me and shit. Like I could have slid for real, for real off that joint though if I wanted to. I feel like I could. Okay, okay. I mean, that's that, that's. I mean, that's somewhat a little traumatic. You know what I mean? I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy. I woke up, I ain't had no money in my pocket. Somebody robbed me for all my cheese, man. I ain't seen nothing about that yet. I ain't get mad about that yet. Somebody took all my money out of my pocket when I was dead. I mean, when I was <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, right. I'm saying, I, matter of fact, I was asleep, cause you feel me? I, I got back up. Them niggas, it's niggas that's dead, they ain't never coming back. You feel me? And shit like that. Right, I woke back up and shit like that. Well, that's true. I mean, that's true, he did. You feel me? I woke back up. Okay, okay. I mean, right. but it's still, regardless, that's still traumatic. I mean, yeah. is that is that something like you, you put in your music? Is that like situations like that kind of keep you going? Like anytime um, I was watching uh, one of your interviews, right? And basically you got signed in 2019, right? October Yeah, 2019. almost almost 2020. That almost was like, 2020. That was like November or October 19, yeah. And, and that was like essentially right before COVID, right? Yeah, so you, yeah, fuck me up. So that's what I want to talk about a little bit because you, 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 you still lit, but you were getting lit, you got signed, it looked like it was about to take off and then things out of your control just shut the progress down. Like as a Whoa. new artist, a newly signed artist, man, what would, like what was your mind state at that time? Oh, I wanted to quit this rap shit for real, for real. Look, that COVID shit hit. Fuck my old dreams up. I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready. Blow. Right then and there. I thought the world was over, though. I thought the world was over. I thought this shit was never going to come back to, like, people doing shows and all that shit. I almost lost faith in that sign shit. Like, it was the same thing. Nothing. You feel me? Like, ain't nothing going on. No shows calling. No nothing happening. Like, but I kept dropping videos. If you ain't peep through the whole shit, I kept dropping videos. Yeah, the videos yeah. Right. Yeah. And for I, sure. And I, I, would, I would love for you to like expand on something I saw you say in the interview because I thought it was a little, little interesting, right? Uh, because a lot of artists your age, this time frame, don't really agree or favor being signed. And I, I saw you talking some That's good, good things about it. Yeah, so you know, t tell the audience a little bit. No, I don't even really want to speak back on that because to okay. each his own. But that, his own. niggas be saying that nowadays because they don't, that it's not, they not in a position to be. So, you feel me? It's rarely, it's rarely enough niggas to just be like, I got enough ones. Only my niggas got shit going on like that for real, for real. Like, you know, young boys, 
running around talking about they wouldn't sign no deal. Come on, man, you not gonna tell me you ain't taking 500,000 cash, the reps and reps and you dirty and you ain't got no money? You feel me? I got faith in prior fuel. My homies could do some shit like that. See, turn down a million dollars. Five, five hundred thousand budget and five hundred, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think people just be saying that because that's just like a thing to say in the rap nowadays, bro. I ain't taking no deal. That's that's all, bro. That's all it is. Okay, all right. And Hopefully they talking about like the deals with niggas from the hood because you know it'd be like niggas from the hood that be trying to sign niggas and shit like that. But you know, you know about that type of shit? Like niggas be getting signed by their uncle and shit. Yeah. You feel me? And then be complaining and doing all that, talking about they want to sign a deal. That's because, ooh, it's your uncle. How you going to sign to him? Who is him? You know, feel me? Of course you're going to say you want to take no deal. feel me? He just treated you all up. You feel me? All the way to the capacity, gave you all his jewels. So now when you want to dip, he like, give me all my jewels back. Nigga, and built you, you know what I'm saying? That's all. Right. You feel me? You feel me? But yeah, that's why they be saying that, bro, man. Okay. Tell, tell somebody that, tell somebody that. What? How many people, how, now, you know how many people you hear say that. How many people you hear say, I just got an offer from a deal and I turned it down. How many people you hear say that? A lot of people don't say that. Not too many. Wanna know why? Because every time a motherfucker coming at, it, coming at any one of them leaves that's saying that, they taking a the deal. That's just something to say in the rap. That's just something to say in the rap, you feel me? Okay. That's all it is. That ain't about nothing, for real. Yeah, well, I mean, you going crazy. You signed the Alamo. You got songs with some hot artists, right? I want to know what's next, man. Like, like, uh, like I said earlier, it was about four or five days ago. You dropped a video, uh, "Get Back" with G Herbo. So, yeah. uh, you know, obviously you gonna let that marinate. But what's the follow up? Though? What can we expect from Yak Yola? Oh, I'm about to drop again. Thirty story. It's like all these questions you asking me. This song right here. This shit about my life right here. This everything, like. Like the big shit that happened in my life right here. I shot the video and all that shit. What's to be about to come out? Alright, couple days? Yeah. Next week. Next week. Yeah, it's an alright job. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But get back, that shit going up right there. Right, that right. shit going crazy right now. You feel me? Only thing on my mind is getting bro and all on some shit, bro. That's what it's about, bro. You know what I'm saying everybody gotta eat. You feel me? Everybody gotta eat, bro. That's the only way to go crazy. You can't do this shit by yourself. Mm -hmm. For real. So next week we're gonna be looking for the video, right? Yeah, next week the video coming out. We got another video coming out next week. Me and Broski just shot last night. We made a song, went to the yo, recorded it and shot the video right the next day after we recorded this jump all off the top, man. I'm saying we're gonna do all that right before an hour right there, I'm jumping <laughs> crazy. I'm saying we ain't with all that, we ain't with all that, we gonna give you your verse next week and this all we recording that jump right there, right then and there. And that's it, you feel me? T come on. You got a coming out March 23rd? The whole album about to drop, man. The, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a collab album with me and her. You know, he executive produced this album that's about to drop. How did we get that? Get a notable artist like G Herbo to executively produce your album. The relationships is, I mean, mm, the relationship's good. It's people that's, that's old, that's, that's do they thing that already has shit like that going on already, you feel me? And plus, the niggas be fucking with me already off the strength, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas be saying it be me and they be fucking with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, you now, know, I, si I signed selling Deliverer, so you know, at the end of the day, it, niggas fuck with me for real, for real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, be fucking with me. Now, uh, can you name some of the features again? Like, how I get that? Doughboy V's? Oh, uh, man, yeah, I man. got, uh, I got, I got Doughboy on here. I got SG Batman. I got, uh, of course, her, uh, PGF Newt, Chase Moolah on here. We got Lil Double O and, and, uh, and V's. And V's, yeah. Now, how, how do you feel about this project? I know you're excited. Yeah, this John Ray go crazy, bro. What are you, what are you, uh, what are you hoping to accomplish with this tape? Because based on what you just named, seems like you want to accomplish a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's all. I'm, you know what I'm in it for, bro. I'm in it for the max. I'm in it for the max. You feel me? I'm just trying to keep going up, bro. Like, I don't even do all that, like, what you, I don't do all that, like, getting super excited about shit, you feel me? Because that's how you lose your hustle. That's how I did that before. You lose your grind like that, bro. You be thinking this shit, and you be falling back on something, think you chilling, and another one of these niggas 
swoop down and take your spot and it'll be over, you feel me? There's always somebody else going waiting in line, waiting for you to fuck up, you feel me? So yeah, that's why I, I ain't on no bougie shit. When, like when you just ask me about niggas, I ain't really on that. It just be like, I don't never want to really like focus on something too much because I don't want to get too excited about it, you feel me? Because I've been in situations I did that before and then fuck around and fucked it up. You feel me? Being hype. Being hype. That's what it did. Hey. Yeah. But I mean, hey, in general, man, I really appreciate you sitting down, you know, chopping it up. We got to get to know you right. You got any last words to say to the camera? Oh, man. Uh, shit. Oh, I know what it is. It's up. It's up.